Okay, we're here at the Kasmane Railway Station. It's five in the morning, it's fucking freezing, and we're off to hours for the adventure of a lifetime, the spiritual journey of a lifetime. We'll just have a look. We've got here, uh, let's see, we've got the guitar case and the case. For this guy bus. Okay, we're outside the dodgiest airline in the world, tigerair.com. Two hours, soon to depart. Okay, well there's not much to see except uh, blue sky and lots of sun and <laughs> there's really not much else here, but anyway. Yeah. That one ain't flaring was it? They're the ones that the witchy girls live in. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, here's just a bit of a shot to illustrate the reality of the Australian environment. <laughs> there we go, a tin can. That's very Aussie. That's absolutely beautiful. I think we should go back and go camping. They say a camel is a ship off the desert. Does anybody ever call a boat a camel of the sea? There are many All right, we're here with Emma. Hello. Emma? Hello. Tell us, what is this the quintessential Australian experience? I think it is. Yes. What do you think, Steve? It's very strange night vision, so no one will recognise you, don't worry. Is it green? It's kind of weird. Wow. Do you think this is the quintessential Australian experience? What does quintessential mean? I don't know. I'm just asking the question. I just You're supposed yes. to make the answer. What's it mean? It means the definitive, the, the unique, the nor the what does it mean? Quintessential. The defining the, the defining moment of Australian culture through by the campfire. I guess so, because we've had sausages. We've had sausages, we've had roux, we've had roux tail. Yeah. What do you think of the roux tail? Tell us about that. I thought I cooked it really well. It's really? just a pity that cooked. nobody else wanted it. Yeah. Had I had already. some. I At had least it. some people tried. Yeah, yeah, I tried. Yeah. Yeah. You were very trying. I was very trying. <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, now tell us, Paul, is this the quintessential Australian experience? Definitely not. No? No. What what is? If this isn't? Campfires, campfire, songs yeah, around the campfire, there's, there's too much stars. And wine and shit here, mate. <laughs> what, more here, Sheilas yeah. should, should be here? Or? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no Sheilas. No Sheilas, just no blokes. blokes. All right, right. Then it would be and white bread. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's very windy here, but I, I think this is very hard to get the perspective of how hugely amazing this landscape is. So this is the oldest river in the world. Think about that, older than the Nile. Not much water in it here flowing, but apparently once every hundred years it flows and fills up Lake Air. Australia. I mean, if this was really a no-through road that went nowhere, yeah. it would be a dirt road. I mean, if it's going <laughs> So it says, no through road, Joint Defence Facility Pine Gap prohibited area. Turn around now. No use in
Alice Springs. There's only one more, one shopping centre. And there it is. And that's Alice. That's basically the whole town. Okay, we're just seeing here the Lone Dingo. Okay, so Nashi's distribution continues in Alice with Karma Radio Station, Central Australian Aboriginal Media. Um, I thought they might like to play the Dingo song, the Black Jack Sound Act, so I've actually just given them a copy of my album. And very cool. Excellent. Okay, here we are, the Chatterbox Music Shop, where Anasha Jade CD has in fact been distributed in Alice Springs in the mall opposite Woolies. Doing one final take on the Alice Springs journey. I'm at the airport ready to fly home. Uh, checked my guitar in and everything, and I'm coming back. I loved it. It is awesome. Now here we go. Typical Melbourne weather. Coming in. 11 degrees. Mm -hmm. 